Hey everyone, it is Melinda with Tailored and & Teal and today we have a Shop Goodwill jewelry unboxing. So this jewelry lot came from Goodwills of Northern Florida, Jacksonville, I believe. It was 6.05 pounds of jewelry. I paid $24.99. I paid $13.64 in shipping, $3.99 in handling. Tax was $3.41 and that gives me a total of $46.03. And as you can see, I have not opened it. It still has its security seal on it. So here is just a quick look at the bag. It is heavy. So now let's rip it open. And we're just gonna pour it out and go one by one. Oh boy. First off, we have this pair of earrings. It looks like it may be leather. Um, probably someone handmade these. We have a couple of bangles. This one is very hefty, but dang, I cannot even put my hand in that. So that's going to be for a smaller wrist. It feels like mm, maybe wood. Not really sure. Uh, I see no markings on it. And then here's this one. This one just sounds like plastic and feels like it. It's pretty scratched up, um, but this one I can put on my wrist. Another pair of these leather earrings. I will probably lot these up. Oh, and look, I have another one. Uh, these are a different shape, so we'll definitely be lotting these up. Ooh, it's like a pony hair type earring. See if they're oh more. It's another pair. I like that they're all different kinds of colors. Here is a black pair. There is a white pair. And I think that might be it actually. Okay, moving on. Ooh, this one is in pretty bad shape. If you can see down here, it's pretty worn. And again, looks like a very small, I can't get this over my wrist. Wow, no markings. Um, it'll probably go into a craft lot because it is pretty worn. I got a lot of bangle bracelets in this one. Oh gosh, this one is so bad. Look at the wear. Eek. Yuck. Okay, yeah, that's not salvageable at all. So that's gonna probably go in the trash, honestly. This is just plain, cheap, gold tone. It's like, it's hollow, I believe. Um, this one, uh, I feel like, Okay, so it is a hinge. There's definitely some wear on the silver. You can see the copper is coming through there. Definitely some wear on the inside and no brand names, but it does close still. This one's pretty, but definitely has some gunk on it or the paint is chipping. Oh no, it came off, okay. But very lightweight, very cheap feeling. This one is kind of on the bigger side. This one is actually in decent condition. Um, just it looks like gold tone. There are no markings. Ugh, that one does fit on. Let's see if it's magnetic. Yes, very magnetic. Oh, this is the same as this one, very hollow. These are cool. So they're very similar to these, except they're in this awesome green color and they're just, you know, acrylic plasticky, but I love this pop of color and they do seem to be in good condition. I 
Okay, stretch bracelet that has definitely seen better days. These are just plasticky brown beads. Wow. This is, oh my gosh, this is so heavy on your wrist. It's got all of these faceted, well, some are faceted and some are smooth. With all this gold tone hardware, there are some I see that are starting to chip the paint. So um, I'll have to take a closer look at that, but this is very, very heavy. A rhinestone stretch bracelet. It has definitely seen better days. This is, they look like real stones, but they're definitely plastic. I like the uh, kind of earth tones to it though, but it does seem like it might've been handmade or it's coming apart because this is coming out. This is another stretch bracelet with all these rhinestones, but there are a bunch missing right there, a whole bunch here. Ugh. And it's just gross on the inside, so yuck. This is a fun bracelet. Seems like it's a little misshapen, actually. I might have to... There we go, I kind of made it better. So it's a cuff style bracelet, lots of beautiful colors, nothing special, might have been handmade actually. No markings, cute. So this is a beautiful colored necklace, lots of seed beads, uh, braided. Gold tone does have some wear to the gold tone up here. There are some pieces of fishing wire that are hanging out, so I'll have to investigate more on that, but these beads are kind of sharp, actually. That would hurt against the skin. This is an interesting bracelet. So it's got this almost like rose gold or champagne color and then this rope that hooks here and it says, wear love where you go. Cute. I see no markings on the inside. I'll have to look up, look that up to see if it's anything special, but I doubt it. Another stretch bracelet in this like abalone looking maybe it's even dyed stone stretch seems to still be good wow this is definitely seen better days as well it is very worn very tarnished has a shoe another shoe oh they're all shoes which makes sense i guess does have a toggle class, but it is just too badly tarnished. Someone could probably use these shoe charms, but this will go in craft lot. We have a few of these types of bracelets here. This definitely has some tarnishing to it. It looks like some of the silver is actually coming off. There's that. Let's see if it's magnetic. Yes, very magnetic. Oh, by the way, if anyone's curious about the magnet part, I'm looking for silver and gold with this. So if it is magnetic, it most likely has cheaper material in it and it's not something I'm going to test or you know expect more money for it. But, oh God, this one's small, there we go. This, this one's in better condition as the other, but it does have some marks on it. Um, these uh, bracelets are very disappointing so far. Well, this is fancy. So it is a velvet covered bracelet with all of this little gold wrapping around it. Definitely looks homemade or like a artisan piece. Let me see if this is magnetic. It is not, but I don't think that it's gold. A 
another one of these bracelets, cuff style, braided. This has some gunk. I might be able to get that off. No markings. Oh, there's more gunk on the inside here. Another bangle bracelet. This one's very pretty, very intricate. Lots of filigree work in here. Looks like the rhinestones are surprisingly all there. This is a larger sized bangle. Another one of these bracelets, but listen, kind of sounds like glass. I think just because the pieces are smaller, they have that like jingly sound, but I love that color. And then I see another one over here. So this one, this one, and this one looks like they all go together. Obviously not on one hand, but they're very similar in style. Another bracelet. There are some wooden pieces, some faux pearls. Very natural looking with all of the colors. Here is this enamel necklace that I cannot get all of the little pieces over, but they are all like this ivory color with gold tone on the back. I don't see any markings. We have a Hello Kitty watch. That's cute. See if it's marked on the back here. I think that this is actually a Hello Kitty brand. Like that's the brand that she comes from, Sun Sanrio. I, I can't really read that, but I do believe that this seems to be a Hello Kitty branded watch. It's in okay condition. It definitely needs to be cleaned up a little bit. These are new on card and I love this color. This hammer gold tone. This is by Salt Light Art in St. Petersburg, Florida. They wanted $28 for these. They are magnetic. We have lots and lots of bracelets in this one. Ooh, that is so weird. Okay, these are wrapped with, well, it's coming off but it was wrapped <laughs> with this netting that had like glitter all over it. Oh, it's kind of gross. And these are all just plastic pieces. So no, that'll be craft lot. We have some lava beads here. And ooh, look at these stones. They do feel cold to the touch. They don't appear to be dyed at all. Well, at least from what I'm just seeing on the outside. This one might be dyed just because I doubt that it's real turquoise, but very, very pretty. This one, I believe that these are wooden beads, these small ones, and then the rest are just plastic and um, fake silver. This, these feel like porcelain beads. I love this mint green color. They are dyed. As you can see, the stretch in the bracelet is not great. And there's like a knot here. And I saw some other strands that were coming through. So also my dog is sleeping in the hallway. She is a short nosed dog. So she is definitely snoring. Um, and there's not much I can do about it. This is a really pretty bracelet faceted. These are just plastic beads with all these little rhinestone spacers. These are wooden beads as well. Even I believe these, well that's like a button right here. So that's plastic, but like even this one is a wooden bead. Well, this is kind of cute. Ooh, there's something on it. Okay, let me get my loop because I can't see what that says. It says RS. It's kind of hard to tell because it's in cursive. So this bracelet is very interesting. 
it has star pieces of what I thought was coral at first, but now it kind of reminds me of like a pumice stone. So I don't know exactly what that is made out of, but that's exactly what it feels like. And then it's wrapped on this gold tone hardware. Very interesting. Another bracelet, these are faux pearls. It does have a price tag on it. Oh look, $3.99, wonderful. Bangle bracelet that's seen better days and um, it's not even fused together correctly. A gold tone bangle bracelet again. I got lots, wow, it's incredibly small. This interesting necklace. So I don't know what this is. It kind of feels like clay but there are wooden beads throughout and then these little spacers but most of the beads are wooden and then there is a toggle toggle closure up here no name or markings of any kind another stretch bracelet with these faceted plastic beads that have some wear and some chipping to them Have another toggle style necklace the silver tone on this you can just feel is starting to wear it's this thick chain with the star here no marking Here is like a choker style necklace with these little black beads they are very shiny and then it just has a lobster lobster clasp back here here is wow it's a spike on your bracelet um i do like the colors does seem to be in good condition i don't know who has this as their hang tag it's very interesting and then a very large lobster claw closure Some stretch bracelets that are held together by a ribbon. These feel like wood. Another stretch bracelet with these brown shiny faux stones. They're just plastic. This is a blue plastic beaded necklace. It has this very sophisticated type of clasp. <laughs> Completely kidding on that one. We have some more faux pearl stretch bracelet. Do these match? They do, look at that. All right, so I have a set of those. I have a necklace that is kind of tangled up in here. There we go. So this is, I believe, the Virgin Mary. All right, so it's on the shorter side. Virgin Mary with all of these little like plastic beads that have this shimmer and then some faux pearls and this gold chain. It does have one of these on it, but I don't see any markings on it. It is not magnetic except the clasp is just because it's a spring clasp. Let me see if there's any markings. I don't see any markings. I might test that. Wow, this is a natural stone pendant, has this gold foil border, definitely is cold to the touch. Here is a long beaded wooden necklace. They're all wood beads that are in graduating size, very long. We have this bracelet, this looks very nice. So it has this rope knot detail up here. And then this is like snake skin feeling. I mean, obviously it's not real snake skin, but that's what it looks like. And then how do I get this open? Oh, just like that, okay. And on the inside it says Vita made in Florence, 24 karat gold plated. Hmm. 
Well, that's another thing that we can test. I was not expecting gold in this. A little pair of glass earrings. Beautiful blue color with all these like glittery accents to it. Let's see if it's marked on the bottom here. No markings. And they do have a magnetic pull to them. Wow. I like this necklace. I love all the colors in it. Okay. These feel like clay. And these are wood. So like these colored beads are clay and these are wood. This is just a fabric wrapped or like a rope wrapped bead some rhinestones. There is a lot going on in this. I love all the colors though. There is a tag back here and it says express. Interesting. I like that. Very pretty. Okay, we have this heart bracelet. It is magnetic. Toggle clasp. I don't see any markings on it. I have plastic beaded stretch bracelet. These are wet seal with one missing. Maybe it's in here somewhere. Um, these are just some faux pearl earrings and they retailed for $5. And then it was only clear and sell for four. Another stretch bracelet with these either mother of pearl or abalone little little pieces. Another, I have no idea what's on that. Oh, there was some tape on this bracelet. Another faux pearl stretch bracelet. We have another stretch. I got so many stretch bracelets. So the stretch could be a little bit better, but it does fit. Lots of shiny rhinestones, just plastic. And it's in okay condition on the bottom. Probably just needs to be cleaned up. All right, we have a wire bracelet with these mustard yellow beads on them. These are wooden beads in here. And then these are like a gold tone or bronzy color. This one has definitely seen better days in terms of the stretch to it, but these are wooden pieces. Oh yeah, you can see they're kind of like fused together here. I probably will just put these in a craft lot. Here is a very worn bracelet. Look at all the wear on the inside here and the outside has a lot of tarnishing too. Another bracelet. It's just a lightweight fashion bracelet. It does have all of its rhinestones in there, which is nice. All right, we have a few random earrings here. So this one broke. This broke off. I think it was supposed to be like a tiered three kind of thing, but it broke off. So I probably, well, I'll throw this piece away and then the rest will just go into a craft lot. This piece of might be shell, maybe plastic, just a red little heart. And then this beaded green earring. We have some things in bags. So we will go through this. This is, <laughs> oh, cute. There's little earrings with it. So it is just a stretch bracelet, um, St. Patrick's Day, all plastic pieces, and then a little rhinestone earrings. These have definitely seen better days too. Look at all the wear on the back of that. They look like the number zero for some reason and they're just pretty worn. So back they go in their bag. This looks like a set of some sort, maybe. Yep, so this is Alaska Black Diamond. 
but made in Taiwan. And then maybe this goes with it. Wow, this is very pretty. It looks new. It looks like no one's even worn it before. I don't see any markings there. Very pretty. So this might be hematite because it is like magnetic. The clasp is also magnetic. I wanted to see if these were marked anything. They are not. And they are also magnetic. Very nice set though. Uh, I have no idea what these are. I thought that they were earrings, but now I have no clue. I think they're just little charms. They are plastic um, Easter eggs. Actually, now that I'm looking at it, I think that they are little drink charms that you put on your wine glass so that you can see who it belongs to, maybe. I'm not sure, there's a whole bag of them. And then the last thing is this necklace who has definitely seen better days. So there are rhinestones missing, lots of rhinestones missing. This is just gross with verdigris. It does feel vintage, kind of. But yeah, I no, I'm not going to sell this. All right, let's test these two items and then we will be done. So I need... I have buried my scratching plate. There we go. So we're going to start out with 10 carat. This one says it's 24 gold plated. It doesn't really look like anything. So I'm going to scratch the top and then also the side here. Ooh, that was an ugly sound. Okay, that looks like absolutely nothing, so we shall see. And then on this one, I'm gonna test the chain. See, that looks better. So we will start with the 10K solution. And just put this across here. So this is staying put, that has disappeared. So this is not gold at all. So if this was 10K, let's go to 14K. A little test here. Okay, the 14K went away. Oh, it's starting to smoke because I think all of the, the lights are making it hot. <laughs> but um, you can see that the 14K completely got rid of the line and then the 10K is still there. So I have to do more testing with this particular piece. Um, it doesn't strike me as gold plated just because there's a lot of wear to it, but I do like this piece just in general. So to be completely honest with you, this lot was very disappointing. Um, there wasn't really anything concrete besides maybe this Alaskan diamond that looked very nice. This set should sell. I have no idea how much it's worth. Um, also, these earrings, I'll probably lot these all up together. And some of the stone, these bracelets should do okay. But um, overall, there's not many pieces that I can actually sell or that I feel comfortable selling. A lot of it will go into a craft lot, so I do not know if I'll be able to make my money back. But that's what happens with these boxes. They are a complete gamble, and you never know until you open it as to what you're going to get. Thank you for tuning in. If you know anything about any of the pieces that I looked at, definitely leave me a comment below. If you are not subscribed, please consider subscribing. I do lots of unboxings on this channel, and we'd love to have you. And as always, I'll see you in the next video. Bye!